What's good everybody? It's the Manga King here once again. The chair is missing, so that explains the reason why I'm standing in this video. Um, I guess it's pretty cool because you get to see, you know, Luffy and all of them in the background, you know, staring over the horizon and junk. But yeah, I'm just here to do a quick update video about what I've been reading. I've been doing a lot of skateboarding and it's been pretty cool. Uh, the only reason why I haven't been as quick to upload is because I've been having some slight issues with my breathing and that probably explains as to why I'm not going to be as loud and excited in this video. Um, yeah, um, as far as manga goes, I checked out a couple one-shots lately. I read the Damian one-shot by Naoki Urasawa, the one with the Yakuza, and Damian who has that weird ability where he just makes stuff happen. And that was really good. I like the story. I like I like the way everything came together. You know, that's one thing that Urasawa was really good at is just creating these stories with these characters. And he's not really, he doesn't have to put a lot of effort into it. Next, um, I read Jagan, the first three chapters. And Jagan's been pretty good. It kind of reminds me of Parasite, except the main character is a sociopath. He's freaking insane. He He's upset with life and he just wants to shoot everything. I don't like the fact that the owl came back, but you know, it's cool. It's pretty epic. It just reminds me, and like I said, it, once again, it reminds me a lot of Parasite. Lastly, I read the one this one one-shot that came out that nobody's apparently talking about, and I don't get why, called Skyscraper skyscrapers or sky rakers i don't know which one it is but it's really really good it's about this dude who's basically like robin hood he goes around and he steals stuff from rich people and gives it to the poor people but he's like a parkour specialist and there's police this police force where there's this female major and she's trying to catch him and it's kind of like this cat and mouse game and they're all in the slums and there's this interesting dynamic between these two characters and it would be pretty dope to get a new chapter of that. Now that's one one shot that nobody put any focus into and it's just been going off to the wayside. Now as far as manga pickups, I haven't really picked up a whole lot of manga, but what I have picked up, I've been continuing my Hunter Hunter collections. As you know, I only have a couple volumes. Hunter Hunter only got three volumes, but I picked up a fourth volume. I'm trying to get as far into the Chimera Ant arc as possible. I only got volume 20, 324 of the Camarion arc. Here's volume 26. I skipped 25 because I remember what happened, you know, with Gone and stuff, and that was some of my favorite stuff in the series. Look at that red, man. Like, that red really brings out the focus, and it really, like, kind of perfectly captures, like, Gone's rage. It's like the, the red fire, and it's like, I love the artwork in this volume. A lot of people crap a Hunter Hunter's art. It may not be like the most gorgeous artwork ever, but it's very dynamic and you can really like feel the expression and the emotion and I mean this panel right here it's not it's not perfect. It's not like freaking like Vagabond or Blade of the Immortal or it's no it's no Kentaro Miura type artwork. I I, I ain't going to lie. Like you have some panels, you have, you have some panels like that. And I was just really happy to see this when it came into the mail to earlier today. It was just really cool. And um, yeah, for, without further ado, I finally caught, I finally got the first volume of my second favorite series, second, second favorite manga series of all time, and that is Monster, the perfect edition by Nao Kurosawa. 20th Century Boys right here. 20th Century Boys and Monster. I have this series. This series I slightly like a little more than... There's some things in this series that I like more than this series. But this series, I'm sorry. I love Monster way more than I like 20th Century Boys. Even though, like, it's it's a... This series is just absolutely gorgeous. But I love this series more. And it, it's kind of hard to compare to Naoki Urasawa's series. Um, yeah, uh, I got this for my birthday last year, so gonna put that down um monster though okay i like the realism in the series the fact that about a neurosurgeon and it's like him trying to solve this mystery of like one of his patients went mad and like it's just the whole journey and the sheer number of characters inside of the story are what make this story just just ab an absolute delight to read and i finally started collecting it I've got Lone Wolf and Cub, as you can see, I've got the first three omnibuses of Lone Wolf and Cub, but this is one series I've been meaning to collect. I finally got it. It's got some beautiful color pages right here. If you can see it, 
I don't know if you guys can see it. I need a better camera, but you know, some it's just it's just perfect like comic marker, like the effects that comic marker really has. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as updates. But yeah, that's all for now. You guys have an awesome day and peace out.